up and welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Today is November 1st and it is a Monday, which means it's time for what sold on eBay. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done one of these. Um, October 18th, I actually was en route traveling to Vegas for the reseller remix. And then last Monday, I did not have a voice. I lost my voice while we were in Vegas. Um, so this is going to look at uh, the 11th through the 31st of October. So there's a lot to look at. You can see all my tabs open there at the top. I did try to just pick out highlights because I'm trying to cover three weeks. Um, but there's still a lot I wanted to show you guys. So there is a lot to get to. I did want to let you know that I have all the plush that sold. So every single plush that sold in the last three weeks is here. I only picked out highlights of remotes like our $20 and more. Um, more expensive ones that sold, but we have been selling remotes really well on the rigs, anywhere from $10 to $60. We're selling like two, three, four, five a day. Remotes are ridiculous. They're like a one to 2% sell through rate. So we have been selling a lot of them. I'm not going to show you all of them, just the highlights, um, just so that if you ever buy a wholesale lot of remotes or you're out in the wild and you see one offs, you know what to look for as far as the higher dollar ones. And those video games, if you watch our channel often, you know we got a wholesale lot of video games that had no cases. They're older games for like PlayStation 1 and older systems like Dreamcast, and they didn't have cases, but our cost of goods was like 10 cents a game. <clears throat> so we bought them anyway, and those are also selling handfuls every day, anywhere from 10 to 50 bucks, depending on the game. So I just picked out the highlights of those. And then the normal, you know, bellows and bread and butter stuff. So let's jump on in. We'll start with this little Chihuahua. He is a Gans Webkins. You guys know, I always tell you, Gans Webkins are hit or miss. And so if I find them for the right cost of goods or they're in a wholesale lot, absolutely do I source them and list them? Yes, because um, $12 to me is bread and butter. We do have a volume-based business. But if you want higher dollar plush, you would have to uh, comp them before you source them. Because I've had Gans Webkins that are worth 35, 40 bucks, and I've had some that are 10 or 12. And it doesn't always seem to correlate with whether or not they have their code. This little guy came from a wholesale lot, so he was about 50 cents. He sold for $11.99 and he shipped first class. Next up, we have a Target Bullseye Dog. I believe I found him at the Goodwill, and he was $0.99 cents or maybe $0.50. Cents. He's been around for a little while. Plush is very long tail. If you're new to plush, please be aware of that. Plush is the slowest selling category on eBay, slower even than used clothing. So this Bullseye Dog sold for $14.99, and he shipped first class as well. All of our plush that ships first class just goes into little poly bags. I actually have a video called Shipping Plush 101. I'm going to have it pop up at the end in case you haven't seen it yet. You can watch that and learn more about how we ship, especially the heavier and larger plushes. Here's a little bling cow. He came in a mystery box. Longtime viewers will remember the mystery box I purchased um, with Robert and we each got two and we opened one on my channel each and one on his channel. These were inside of there. I think I remember each plush averaged out to about 75 cents a plush, but there were a lot of Disney and Pokemon and expensive plush in those mystery boxes that more than paid for them and made profits. Um, so the little ones like this that are still selling are just icing on the cake, you know, bonus money. I did take a best offer of $10 on the cow. I wanted it to move, it's been around a while. And it shipped first class. This one I actually did put one wrap a bubble wrap around before I put him in the poly bag because of his sequins. I wanted to protect those. Next up, we have a Dandy Collector's Elephant. So Dandy is another brand that some of the plush from Dandy, like your bigger bears and things like that, can be up to $40 and $50 when you comp them or list them. And then some of them like this little elephant who's only seven inches big, sold for $12.24. Dandy was a brand that was sold at Kmart, if you didn't know. I always pick it up if the cost is right, because again, I'm okay with filler or bread and butter. The elephant sold for $12.24, shipped first class. 
Next up, we have a vintage Boyd's Bears. This is Bruce. He's eight inches. I love Boyd's Bears. There are a handful of Boyd's Bears that are bolos and will sell for a lot of money. The majority of Boyd's Bears are going to be bread and butter. I can usually find them for under a dollar, and they're usually kept in good condition because these are typically a plush that are bought by collectors, not so much as toys for children. I'll hide this. And they have these little name tags on them. You see that where it says Bruce? When I first started selling plush, when I first started reselling and didn't know any better, I had my first Boyd's Bear and I thought somebody wrote on it. But that's how it's supposed to look. So all the Boyd's Bears that um, still have their cardboard tag like this, their hang tag, will have what looks to be written in black ink pen name. But that's how it's supposed to look. And that's their actual name. And collectors will look for their bears by name. So make sure you use that in your title. Bruce sold for $14.87 and he shipped first class. He was also about 25 cents at a yard sale. Next up, we have Doc from Disney, Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is an official Disney store. I did find six of these. Long, long time viewers may remember several years ago. I found six of these at the Goodwill. They were 99 cents a piece. I didn't find all seven. I would have sold them as a lot and they didn't pop as high as I was hoping. They were actually official Disney store, but um, some of the ones that sold off in the beginning sold for more like 10 to 12, $14. I remember some characters comped higher than others. It probably depends on how saturated each character is or how popular. The more rare ones are harder to find are going to go for more money. So Doc sold for $8.74 and he shipped first class. Here's another vintage plush that I had high hopes for. <laughs> I found it for 99 cents at the Goodwill. It is vintage, it's Del Monte. And I thought that he would be worth a lot more. Unfortunately, no. He's even got like a little story and he's old. Um, he sold for 10.49, shipped first class. Here's a Care Bear I got for 50 cents at the Goodwill. This is Harmony Bear. I like Care Bears. Again, like most things, there are some Care Bears, especially the vintage ones, certain characters that are gonna go for a lot of money. Most of them are gonna fall in the bread and butter range. So if you don't like filler or bread and butter, you're gonna wanna comp them before you source them. I bring them all home. I did take a best offer of $12 on Harmony and she shipped first class. Here is a Kohl's Cares Dalmatian from Disney's 101 Dalmatians. Kohl's Cares is a really solid filler brand. A lot of the characters um, that you're gonna find in Kohl's Cares brand of plush are recognizable from Disney or children's storybooks. There are some like the mouse, um, if you give a mouse a cookie, there's different versions of that one within the Kohl's Care line. There's one of the mice mouse has overalls on and he's holding a cookie. That one sells for more money than the other one. Um, I pick them all up because again, I get them for 50 cents, 99 cents, or I get them in wholesale lots for very cheap. So I just, I get all the Kohl's cares. Um, there's Dr. Seuss ones and they range from 12 to $20 typically. Some are gonna be worth more. This Dalmatian sold for $14.99 and shipped first class. Then we have a Little Miracle Skunk. He's a realistic stuffed animal that came in a wholesale lot. And I think that one averaged out to 75 cents an animal, maybe 50 cents. So Little Miracles um, was new to me when I took it out and I thought it was really super cute. Realistic animals do do well. So you wanna always put realistic if it's a real, real looking animal. And the skunk, I did take a best offer of $12.59. So I would consider Little Miracles probably just a bread and butter brand. And it shipped first class. Here's a bolo for you guys. This special stitch. So I've had stitches from Disney Store before that didn't comp this high. 
Usually the stitches go for $15 to $25, depending on the size. This particular stitch sold for $29.99. And I think that's because he's a special Christmas version with his little sweater and his little hat. He's really cute. I always thought Stitch was a really cute little alien. He reminds me of a koala bear. Anyway, $29.99 and he shipped first class. So this was a good, a real good flip with a nice profit and not a lot of money spent on shipping. Next up we have these. So that was all of the plush that sold. We're going to move into other items now. These is, these is, this is not proper English. These is, these are a pair of Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers. Um, they are the neon red and the neon blue because people apparently look for these by color. Um, they were found at a yard sale and I believe they were a dollar, <laughs> believe it or not. They were, they were in the box though. So Casey and Keith went to the yard sales and found these um, and brought them home. And the box showed the red and the green, the neon green and the neon red. And it was, looked closed up like it was brand new and somebody just sold them for a dollar. Um, we opened it up and they weren't in their original bags and there was a blue one instead of a green one. So they we had to sell them as used rather than new in the box. But that's okay because they still sold for $35 on a best offer and they ship first class. So uh, what we did was just bubble wrap them up and put them back in the box and bubble wrap the box and then put them in an air jacket like a bubble mailer, what we use for remotes. And it still shipped first class because they don't really weigh much and you know, for a dollar, into $35 all day long. Please and thank you. Here's a Gap Windbreaker. Um, Gap's a solid bread and butter brand. I like Gap, Old Navy, American Eagle. Those are like three brands that people are familiar with. They get confident in the styles and especially like with jeans, they know what they wear and they'll shop for them online. So I'll pick them up, those three brands, all the time. They are some of our best seller bread and butter brands. This men's windbreaker was only a dollar, 99 cents, the Goodwill, and it was an extra large. So of course it's a good size. And so I picked it up and it sold for $19.99 and it shipped first class. Next up we have a Hugo Boss Polo. So a lot of people will tell you that Hugo Boss isn't that great of a brand anymore. And it's not, but it is. Like it just depends on what it is. You're not going to get $60 for a Hugo Boss Polo anymore like back in the day, but you can still get $27.93. This one was virgin wool, which really helped the price out a lot. Wool is one of those materials that you can charge more for. And so this was a 99 cent find that we flipped into $27.93 and then it shipped first class. Next up, we have... Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Now this was a different lot of video games. So we had the ones that were just, um, you'll see one in a minute, just in sleeves without the cases that I was just talking about earlier that averaged out to like 10 cents a game. These ones were all in their cases and came out to like a dollar, I think, a game. Still a good price to get games. Uh, a lot of the GTAs or Grand Theft Autos still do really well, even the older ones. It's just a popular game. Um, I've noticed that GTA 5 and San Andreas usually will comp the highest amounts. Did take a best offer on this one of 15, one five, and it did ship first class. We shipped these in padded envelopes that we shipped the remotes in. Next up, we have a Samsung TV remote control and it's sold for 26, 24. So this is what it looks like. Some of the Samsungs go for 12 bucks, 10 bucks, and some go for 20 to 30. Just depends on what you have. We do not pick ours. They come to us in pallets and we just bring them in 20 to 30 at a time, clean them up and test them, photograph them and get them listed. So um, whenever we find some that are like this, we try to remember what they look like. So maybe if we ever saw one in the pallet, we would know to grab it out first. So yes, this one sold for $26.24, shipped first class. Our remotes are about 30 to 50 cents a piece, the way we get them. Um, we have several contacts that we buy pallets or remotes from, and some are a little bit more 
because they come from farther across the country and we pay more for shipping. Some are a little bit closer and shipping is cheaper. So depending on which contact we get our remotes from, they're sometimes even 10, 15 cents a piece, up to 50 cents. And at this point, we have so many listed, I really couldn't tell you which palette or which contact this came from. All right, next up we have Chico's Women's Jeans. Um, Chico's is a good bread and butter brand. I sound so excited when I say that. I mean, it used to be, it used to sell more often for more money. It's just one of those brands that kind of got run down to the ground, but these did sell for 1974 and I believe they shipped in a, no, they shipped first class. I thought they might have had a flat, but these must have been one of the rare pairs of jeans that weighs under 15.9 ounces. These came from the Goodwill. They were 99 cents. Next up, we have a Sony TV voice remote control. So you'll notice a pattern, and I say this in a lot of my What Sold videos. A lot of the remotes you're going to see that go for more money are more unique. They're not just run-of-the-mill TV remotes or run-of-the-mill DVD combo remotes. There's something about them that's unique. This one is voice remote control. $21.87, shipped first class. Here's a video game in the envelope. So this is one of the ones that was like 10 cents a piece. They're older games. They all came in these like envelopes without their cases. Again, they're selling pretty quickly. Um, anywhere from 12 to 30, 40 bucks, some of them. Um, this one was like a mid one at $18.74. And these ship first class as well. What we do with these, since they don't have their case, is we bubble wrap the case the case. We both wrap this envelope with the game in it and then we take two pieces of cardboard that we cut out from an old box and put it on either side and tape it together to make like a sleeve. Then we bubble wrap that one more time and then it goes in one of those bubble envelope air mailer jackets. So that is how we ship these video games without the cases. Next up we have a Samsung surround sound bar surround sound bar remote control. So you know the little bars people put up under their TVs for surround sound. This is a remote control to that and it sold for $19.99. Again, it's different. It's not just a TV remote. Shipped first class. Here's a Canon wireless remote control, $19.99. That has this dial on it. That's usually a giveaway. If you see a remote with one of these round spinny dials on it, you can almost guarantee it's going to comp at $20 or higher, regardless of brand. Check them out when you find them. Here's a pair of True Religion jeans. So we've been through this on this channel a million times. I used to start True Religions at $50 and then I would accept 40 or 45 best offers. I have to start them at 40 now or a little bit less. And that's because people like to race to the bottom and people like those fast nickels and people are turds. Anyway, these came from a thread up box. So they were about $1.85, so I can't be too salty. I used to pay up for True Religion, Miss Me and Silver. I used to pay like $6.99 at the Goodwill. And when the prices started dropping, yes, I was a little salty, but these came from a thread up. So they were like $1.75, $1.80. And they sold for $37.99. They did ship in a padded flat. Next up, we have an Ivanka Trump woman's dress. So I found two of these at some consignment or thrift store a couple years ago, just like off the beaten path. We found it in Pittsburgh. We went in and peeked around. We got two of these dresses and some ties and stuff. Um, this has been around forever. So I did decide to take a $30 best offer on it just to get it to go. And it shipped in a padded flat. It is cute though. I like the roses. I have a blue one still that's new with tags. Hopefully that one will sell soon. This is a new to us brand. It's called Redhead. I don't know if it compensated just because of the size or because Redhead might be a brand that we're just not familiar with. It came in a wholesale lot, so it was about two bucks for the shirt. It could just be that it's flannel or that it's such a large, large size, but it did sell for uh, $20.62. We sent on the best offer on it. And it did ship in a padded flat. It was a little heavier, a little big. It is a flannel 2XL. 
And then we have Joe's Jeans, which is still a pretty decent brand. I haven't really seen Joe's take any real hits or real race to the bottom like I've seen other brands. Joe's is pretty solidly been between 30 and like 36 bucks um, ever since I started reselling. This particular pair is the Micro Flare Skinnies. They sold for $32.48 and they shipped in a kind of flat. And oh, these were from a thread up, so they were like $1.75. And last but not least, look at this Coupe de Girl of the Week. This is an Adgom remote control. And it sold for $62.99. I did send out a 10% offer on it. Um, sold within like a day or two of being listed and went really fast. Had a liker, I decided to send out the 10% off. See what happened, and they bought it and they paid for it same day $62.99. Um, I do price high, so most of you know that when I comp, I comp on the higher end. I give myself room to do those offers, and then we actually list 25% higher. So I was, I knew I was gonna get about 60 for this room, so I wanted to list it at like 70 with room for offers. So I put the price at $87.49 so that when our sale hit. It went on sale for $69.99. I still had room to send out a 10% off and it sold. So, and it also took first class, clearly. It's a remote. So that is the wrap up of the last three weeks. The highlights, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you saw in this video or anything at all in general, please use the comment section down below. Or you can join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod, and tag me in a post over there. You can look for it on Facebook or there's a link in the boxes down below. The boxes? There's one box. Until next time, guys, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.